I'm gonna make this video as a uh, my own little tribute to to the late to the now late great Sean Connery. Right? For me, uh, he was for me. He's not just remembered as James Bond, okay? the first James Bond. Okay. I remember him in <clears throat> movies like The Untouchables, uh, the Highlander movies. And well, <clears throat> and the last movie I I saw him in, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, that was such a cool movie. All right, he was, uh, despite being at the time he, he would probably be uh, probably 69, 70 years old. All right, he he looked really cool. He 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 was the coolest. All right, he was the coolest actor in that movie. All right. Proof that well, coolness knows no age. All right, Sean Connery uh, proved that all to us. So yeah, uh, when I I just I found out this morning that um, Sean Connery has passed away. He was he was ninety years old. Yeah, I, I felt really sad because this is one of the act. This is one of the actors I actually grew up watching. <clears throat> not just with uh, not just with the James Bond movies, but of course, eighties. I'm an eighties kid, so if I were to hear the name Sean Connery, I would instantly relate that to Highlander because he was uh, his character's name was Ramirez there, the one mentoring Connor McLeod, which was played by Christopher Lambert. Right, two great actors right now in in the Highlander movies. He was, he, he was also cool. He was actually cooler than Connor McLeod, all right? He was actually cooler than Connor McLeod. See, Ramirez. And of course, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. He was the last, he was the most recent to play Alan Quartermain, the lead, the lead character of King Solomon's Minds. In the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, para silang, ano dun eh? para silang Justice League dun, pero yung mga classic uh, hero, novel heroes, okay? Alan Quartermain from King Solomon's Mines, and their arch enemy there is William James Moriarty, okay? the arch enemy of Sherlock Holmes. Right? Maganda, maganda ng I actually saw that film in the theater. Okay? Talagang pumila pa ako para makita ang pelikula ng yun. I thought, because I thought, Mm, this looks like a cool movie. Sige, panoorin ko to. Sean Con Total Sean Connery naman eh. <laughs> because, uh, when it's a Sean Connery movie, I am guaranteed. I am, uh, I'm guaranteed I'm going to get my money's worth. Because that's how bankable the late, great Sean Connery is. Sir Sean Connery. Uh, because I recently found out that he was, that he has been knighted by the Queen 20 years ago. So, yeah, mabuti naman. He deserved it. Okay. The man deserved it because he was um, he was such a great actor. Okay. So rest in peace, Sir Sean. May your soul rest in peace. I'm posting this entry right now to let everybody know that uh, my Twitter has been suspended. Yeah, I gotta admit, okay, it's uh, it's my bad, my bad. I've been a little too overzealous in um, in retweeting and liking stuff, all right, uh, because I haven't been too active on uh, on Twitter except. Uh, if I'm going to post a diary entry, all right? So I, I admit, all right, it's a, uh, it's my bad. Okay? I'm holding myself accountable for that. <clears throat> now, um, so the best thing, best thing I did was to file an appeal. All right, let's hope that, well, 
in my in my little own act of humility they would uh, they would unsuspend my account but if not well I probably won't go back on Twitter anymore I won't uh, I won't I won't uh, make another account I won't make a new account and if that happens well Twitter has been my oldest um, it's the social media platform I've been in the longest okay. I've been a I've been a Twitter user since 2009 all right and in one um, act of overzealousness I might lose it all right I might lose it forever but uh, I'm not ex I'm not exactly uh, I'm not exactly worried or stressed out about it okay. there are other social media platforms out there I'll just have to be um, <clears throat> I just have to be a little more uh, a little more careful next time a little more careful all right so if it gets if it gets unsuspended good thank you thank you Twitter but if it doesn't I'll understand uh, but I won't be I won't be making another Twitter account because I've had I got too I got too many followers there just to just to make another one okay that's uh, that following was 11 years in the making right to tell you the truth it was 11 years in the making all organic right so and that's it and you've heard it here read it for the first time I have just been uh, uh, I just been uh, gifted subs uh, today on twitch twice then I think yesterday I was gifted a sub again. Then two days ago, another gifted sub for for another. These are four different streamers that I've been gifted subs for. All right. So in as much as five days, I've been gifted a sub four times. And I don't know uh, why am I so being being a magnet for these for these gifted subs i don't even know what to do with them all right i don't even fucking know what to do with them to tell you honestly okay i've been i've been a streamer on twitch for a month now okay i've been a streamer on twitch for a month now and up to now i haven't uh, i still haven't figured out what uh, what uh, subscriptions can do or what to do when you've been gifted a sub now, if there's any, uh, if there's anybody here on Reddit who knows how to uh, knows how to take advantage of being gifted a sub, all right, comment below now. Okay, I really need your help. All right, what am I driving at actually? <clears throat> I've been grinding on Twitch for yeah for a month. This is probably the universe's way of telling of 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 rewarding me for for my grind right because well subbing to a uh, subbing to a streamer's channel isn't that easy it normally uh, costs around hundreds of pesos okay a month all right a month one of the subs i've been gifted was for uh, two months <laughs> God damn it! I don't even know what to do with it. All right, you know some. If you know, if you know how to um, effectively um, use a gifted sub, all right, comment below again. Okay, so the universe works in mysterious ways, and here's proof: the gifted sub. I just saw um, Ibulaga uh, a while ago. The uh, bowel judgmental segment, and Chinkitan was <laughs> was one of the was one of the persons being judged. All right, we all know Chinkitan is a um, is a uh, personal development uh, expert and a uh, personal finance expert also primarily. But uh, it made me remember something something that people usually do when they lose money when they. Um, when they're in debt, when they're, 
you call this when they're flat out okay desperate desperate for desperate for income desperate for money right they go into blame mode right they blame the government they blame their friends they blame their family they blame anyone who is near them bottom line it's got to stop all right if there's anything i learned about money it's this when it comes to money it will always be your fault you got scammed well like gary vaynerchuk said to that guy uh, in a video it's your fault all right we filipinos have a saying and i'll say it i'll say it in uh, i'll say it in filipino Walang manloloko kung walang magpapaloko. The only time scammers will never prosper is when nobody, uh, nobody uh, believes their sales pitch. That's the only time. If you did your due diligence, if you have researched the company very well, if you have weighed your weighed your own options very well. That money won't be a problem for you. Okay? If you get into the habit of due diligence, money is never a problem. I may not earn much, but money is not a problem for me. And because I believe that money will always come to me, I just have to take the initiative. So again, Instagram, when it comes to money, it will always be your fault. This is my laptop. It's been off for almost, I know, it's been off for exactly 14 and a half hours now. Yep, 14 and a half hours. Well, uh, I didn't feel like opening it. I didn't even feel like creating content with it. But after this, after this, uh, after this video I do, yeah, I'm going to open it uh, because I need to review something. All right. Now, what am I driving at here? Sometimes you just got to. Um, let go of the techie stuff. Let go of um, let go of all your gadgets. Never touch them for several hours on end. Just to refresh your brain, right? I feel my brain is refreshed right now because I, the only device I am touching right now is my cell phone, right? So. If you feel like, uh, if you don't feel like uh, creating content or even going online, do it. By all means, do it. Because, well, it is your brain's unconscious way of telling you that, hey, you need a break. Okay? You fucking need a break, boy or girl. So, don't touch that laptop for a while. And for 14 and a half hours, I haven't touched it. Right? Feel, feels really good, actually. It feels really good. Now, I, I want to get back into creating content again. So, my mind is refreshed. And I can tackle any... Uh, I can be productive with that laptop again. So, Instagram... If I were you, if you if you feel like not touching your gadgets, do it. Do it and enjoy the silence. I'm feeling good right now about, uh, about two things. One, well, the Vertical Diaries uh, has found a uh, a new home to replace Twitter. Second, 
this morning I just completed the longest uh, the longest stream of my life the longest live stream mm, I have ever uh, I have ever uh, what you call this I've ever pulled off right let's go with number one well uh, I just visited uh, my Twitter account and up to now I'm still suspended I'm not going to cry over spilled milk, so I deleted my Twitter app here on my phone, and signifying that I'm not going to I'm not going to bother anymore with that with that account of mine. So I'm completely abandoning Twitter from now on. Uh, it pains me pains me to do so, but sometimes well, sometimes you gotta let go of things that. They've been with you for a long time, but due to your own mistakes, uh, it might not uh, it might not allow you to move on. I've been with Telegram since um, since I started uh, tackling with cryptocurrencies. And that was twenty early twenty eighteen. Right, that was early twenty eighteen. So I started using Telegram at the time because there were several groups and channels that specialize in cryptocurrencies or the uh, several ICOs have been launched through Telegram so it has been dormant for almost uh, for more than two years and just recently I got to use it again because because um, uh, there are also groups and channels there that you can promote your YouTube videos or Instagram posts legally and ethically all right so I uh, I figured why not start my own channel here for the diaries? And there you have it. Right now, you're probably seeing uh, my uh, that uh, that Telegram channel's name. You might as well uh, go over there and subscribe to it if you want to. If you want to, what you call this? If you want to see my diaries entries from now on, there, I will be submitting entries. I will be submitting entries there from now and this is the first entry on that channel now second it's been a goal of mine to uh, to do a 24 hour stream a 24 hour live stream okay and i was able to pull it off just this morning all right that stream on twitch ended at 28 hours and 25 or 26 minutes but officially on Twitter, uh, on Twitch, it was only 25 hours and 57 minutes. Either way, I've broken my personal best. Right? The longest stream that I have, uh, that I've ever pulled off, was 23 hours and 18 minutes. Uh, 23 hours and 20 minutes, to be exact. Either way, I have broken that record. Right? So. I'm, I'm quite proud of myself, even up to now, right? The idea of uh, streaming for long periods of time, it's, it's, not, it's not exactly a bad thing, all right? As long as you prioritize sleep and you have a definite plan of how to go about those long hours, all right? I, I was live for 28 hours during, as of uh, when I ended it this morning. All right, I did anime episode reviews. I even uh, streamed a practice game of Yu-Gi-Oh there. I have even um, done social eating, <laughs> which is fun to do. All right, by the way, it's fun to do social eating. No matter how long your stream is, okay, you gotta have a plan because you will be dealing with uh, you will be dealing with stress at every corner. Okay? Now. If you want to do a, if you want to do a very long stream without taking a rest, ditch the plan. Right? I'm telling you, ditch that plan. If you don't incorporate rest in that plan of yours, to, in that uh, that long stream plan of yours, no, it's not going to be successful. You will not have the energy for it. So that's the that's. Uh, that's the lesson I'm going to bank on the next time I do it again.
But right now, I am feeling, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so proud of myself by pulling that one off, right? So my personal best right now for live stream is 28 hours and 25 minutes. I don't care what Twitch says, all right? I was online for, I was online for 28 hours and 25 minutes, all right? If it weren't for, if it weren't for uh, the lag and the, the occasional disconnections uh, yesterday, or yesterday early after early afternoon yesterday, I might have gotten the full 28 hours at least. So yeah, who cares? <laughs> I've already, I've already, I've already done myself. All right, so I am feeling good either way. So, Telegram, welcome to the diaries. 